Jumping off from what I have with the Q graphics example, um, I just decided to expand it out into a um, proper character picker. Um, you know, their control picker or whatever. Um, so we still have all our text. Um, all of our controls from before with uh, the example of the text added in. Um, and we added the ability to swap easily between those. Before, by default it just has text. Um, but we can swap between all this sort of stuff. And what we're going to create right now is just a little UI for working with these uh, two spheres in the scene right there. So by default the name here doesn't really matter. Um, you can control everything else, um, but uh, the name is just for your own personal use. Okay, so I'm gonna get something that I like. Well, actually, I'm gonna, use, I'm gonna change the background image to one I took a little bit ago. And atmosphere. That seems good. And then down here we have a couple of different tools. I'll just run, up, run through those real quick. Um, so if you have two objects, you can align them like this, or uh, like this. If you have three, I'm just gonna, you can space out. This will what what this did is it just took the one that's in the middle and it sort of spaced it out. If you had two here. It would do that as well. Um, and the other one just for the other direction. Um, the other controls are just to jump around the scene. Just move this down a little bit. My mouse isn't lighting me right now. There we go. Um, so you can jump across the scene. And back up here and this will create a mirror on the other side you know vertically or horizontally or horizontally or vertically um, so this is our default L default um, if we copy this if we make a C then it's going to assume that you want to be at that midpoint let's put that up here lock it down and we're just going to change the colors real quick. Uh, actually, I'm going to use this and set it so that I can quickly get a little highlight back in there. And this main, I'm going to use this color, whatever that color name would be. The highlight, he's the same. Uh, drop the main a bit darker. Um, so now we have these two controls, and I'm just going to hide this real quick. Oh. I can't tell I'm using my touchpad, not an actual mouse. I don't know if you can hear them in the background, but either a crazy chicken or a car with horrible brakes just drove past. Either way. P301 and P302. I'm going to name this. Now, by default, if I select something, it doesn't do anything in my. If I lock the buttons down, then this becomes a selection surface. Or selection area for uh, working inside Maya. Um, now, in addition to having a single select um, do stuff, you can also change code. So right now, I just have it running some code for this name, um, but you, I just have a couple little quick things like subprocess and commands, um, just to in case you want to do something a little bit more advanced, um, which I would assume you would. But let's just test that code out. In case let's do this, test code, you see obviously it did it, and if you double click on stuff, it'll do it as well. 
Double click on something normally when it's not locked, it doesn't do anything. So let's save our scene. Uh, there's an old word file, so I'm going to call it word file 2. And then I'm going to launch off the reader. So here we'll see it's just it's loading all from the same folder. Um, so we're going to have work file 2 we can work with. Um, and it's all working the exact same way. So it's pretty cool. I had fun with this. Um, it's a groovy little tool. Um, and it's pretty much the whole basics behind it. Uh, just sort of making the files, being able to work with them, um, and then manipulating them uh, to save and load in. Um, let's see if there's anything else. No. Well, you can title the grid. Uh, just give you, that's just an overlay on the side of the background. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah, that screen cap is just a link to another tool that I use for doing screen cap stuff. But, um, yep. Uh, this is a fun one, and um, I think it's pretty useful. We've used similar stuff to this before. Uh, we've written some similar stuff to this before. Um, but this I took a little bit further. So, I dig it. Have a good one.